in the name of Allah, with merciful, we start our class alone. One to our beautiful English class. Our subject today, we are going to be in travel, left off around the schools. Let's start with the warm up question. I want you to see this picture. Where is this place? What is it? Where is this place? Think about it. We then say, A. Read the brochure about London. Match sentences 1 to 5 with the photos A to E. Okay. Visit London. Yes. There's something for everyone you can go. 1. On the London Eye and see fantastic views. 2. To the Tower of London. A fascinating, fascinating wonderful, very wonderful, old castle. So, let's see the answers. I want you to have these two pictures. One, of course, D, on the London Eye, the London Eye, everybody, and see fantastic views, this one. And number two, to the Tower of London, a fascinating old castle, this is. This picture from London, of course, so it's a fascinating old castle here. Okay, very wonderful. Okay, it's complete. Yes, there's something for everyone. You can go on an open top, sassing bus, or the thing, which picture? Number four, on a picnic in one of the, the beautiful parks. Number five, to the science museum and learn interesting facts. Let's see the answer. Three is B on the open top, so I think but this one is B. Of course, number four is E on a picnic in one of the beautiful parks. Beautiful parks. So it's E here. Number five, to the science museum and learn interesting facts. Of course, C, this is science museum. Okay? B, you are spending a day in London. Choose two of the activities and sentences one to five give reason for your opinion. Okay? Give example. I'd like to go to the science museum because I like science. For example, another one, I'd like to go to the old castle because it's wonderful and I love all things. For example, okay, so choose two of the activities and sentences, give reason for your opinion. Make it simple otherwise. Okay, write and share. You are in a big city for a short holiday. In your home, in your notebook, write an email to your friend. Give purpose. Why? Who are you writing to? Purpose. Why you are writing? This is the purpose, everybody. Include the start. Paragraph one. What you did yesterday and the day before. For example, I went to a picnic with my family, okay, last day, or last week, okay, or last two days, or two days before. You can choose whatever you want. Paragraph 2, you plans for tomorrow and the next day. You plans what you are going to do. I'm going to visit. London Eye, for example. Okay, you can choose any city. Okay, and at the end, it's very important for you writing, everybody. Who you are writing to, why you are writing. Okay, start what you did yesterday and the day before. And the other paragraph, your plans for tomorrow and the next day. And then, okay? The great.
grammar and the punctuation is very important to the paragraph, date and dear. Don't forget that. The comma, the full stop, the end of sentence, the question mark, if you have a question, possessive case, possessive pronouns. Don't forget all these punctuations. It's very important. And the short form, don't forget that. Okay? And then, we read the text of London and we match a short description with a picture. Then we revise what you like and what you don't like and your opinion about it. And your homework is to write a short email describing experience that you have in a city. Okay? See you next class, everyone. Goodbye.